Do not worry everyone, I've shined my forehead with some exceptionally new high quality wax. So just specifically when you watch this video, you can see a glint of shine from my forehead. But don't look too close, because if you look directly at it, that will burn the fuck out of your corneas, and you will need to see a new doctor. And you don't get to bill me. You don't get to sue me nor bill me, okay? Because I gave you full disclosure right here. It's like why you don't like charge the sun for staring at it too long. And it's like, well, fuck you, stun. Now you owe me a bunch of money. Now you don't get to stare at my forehead and be like, fuck you, Bricky. Now you owe me money. No. No. It's one of the unfortunate byproducts of having a studio light because it just shines like perfectly forehead level. So it's just like a glimmer of hope. So welcome everyone to the first episode of my ranked series gameplay playthrough kind of thing. I think I'm going to call it something on the lines of follow the golden brick road or the golden brick road or something like that because it, it makes sense. I think it's kind of funny and we're trying our best to get the fuck out of silver because we got placed there and thought, okay, you you know what let's just play some ranked games let's make it into a series so i can both make a series on youtube make videos but at the same time also rank up and do things like that so it's like it's like a two for one it's a good two for one this isn't no road to diamond or anything this is literally just a get the fuck out of silver series and then hopefully a back to plat series and then hey we can keep going after that one who, who knows what's gonna happen who, who knows i don't know we'll, we'll see how it happens so we're gonna start some ranked we're gonna go. Summoner's Rift, ranked solo duo, confirm. And then as per the usual, what I normally pick is I go top for my primary and mid for my secondary. I'm a total solo lane piece of shit and uh, we may get support, who knows, but I can, I can play an okay Thresh. I can play an okay Thresh. All right, we're in. What do we get? What do we get? Please give me top. Please give me top and please give me like last pick top. That's the best, the best possible thing I can do. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, attempt to. Oh, come on, just, just accept the invite. Just please, please accept the invite. Thank you. Okay, I got top and I got second pick. It's all right. I'm okay with that. Rengar is Hokage. Woof. All right. My hope is that they simply don't ban Camille. I'd like to play Camille top lane if the enemy team does ban Camille or if perhaps they first pick Camille because they are first pick. I'll go ahead and play Poppy into that Camille because Poppy just completely shits on her. And if Poppy's banned, then I'll play Fjord. Not, not too difficult. Yes. Thank God. All right. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, here are the teams. They chose Shen into me, which is actually a pretty damn good counter against Camille because I can't dive him whatsoever. And then he can super easily block all of my empowered Qs because of his little W field. Not only that, but the shields and everything. He's actually pretty good. I mean, we can go pretty even, honestly, but overall, that's not a terrible choice. No, not at all. So I know like a road to whatever rank is like very common series. A lot of other YouTubers have done. I've never done one. I don't really know how they do theirs. Uh, my thought is I'm just going to go ahead and like play one of these games once a week and just kind of like comment on through it every single time. But besides that, I don't know, like, do they play multiple games in like one video? Like, I don't know how it works. I thought I'd just go ahead and make like a ranked game. But in this ranked game, it kind of has the usual like small ed and quips of a full game or not a full game commentary, but like, you know, like a short of 10 minutes kind of thing where it's a bunch of like quick cut commentary and things like that. That's what I thought I would do. I don't know what people normally do. So any form of feedback or adjustments would be appreciated if you wouldn't mind. But besides that, I mean, I'm just I'm just going to play. Okay, I always start with a Corrupting Potion and a Warding Totem on Camille, and then I always start W in case they want to be uber aggressive in the early game, and in that case, I can just go ahead and immediately grab some free health. So our Lee Sin is actually Master Level 7 Lee Sin. I think our Gangplank is actually Master Level 5 Gangplank as well, but he's Support Gangplank, which I, I don't know if that's a common thing he does. His name is Rengar's Hokage, which, which I... I I, okay, Ruby Crystal start Shen. Interesting. I don't actually see that too often. Say, so lucky for me, laning phase is actually ending up being quite simple because all I need to do is once he goes in on me, he might do some damage and such. But then immediately after, I go ahead and pop a W and then I regen most of the damage he just did to me. Okay, he's a rather aggressive Shen. Kind of surprising considering it's, it's fucking Shen, you know, but... I mean, I can't really argue too much on that stuff. I can grab this cannon minion, and I'm gonna try to do this on him. There we go. That's damage. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh! Oh! Yes! Holy shit! The minions! The fucking minions! Thank you! Oh, 
Oh, yes. Mmm. Oh, shit. Damn it, Vigar. Oh, I feel so proud of myself. I just feel so proud of myself for that. Okay, so starting off on Camille, I'm generally going to buy myself a Bomby Cinder because it's a very strong and useful item and then boots in case I get ganked one more time. That poor Kha'Zix, he not only got stuck by a massive minion wave, but got probably minion blocked as well, which is pretty unfortunate. Oh, oh no, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, can I, should I teleport? No, I think, yeah, I think they actually might kill the Thresh. Oh, they might get both. Holy shit, they got Kha'Zix. Oh, oh, you, you are a mean man, Shen. How dare you stop me from getting that cannon minion. And look at that, now you're in pain. Now you're hurt, because I'm on fire. And you have, you have absolutely zero, uh, uh, zero pots, which is, which is pretty nice. I like that. Oh, yes. Oh, this... Oh! Oh, I don't- I- Oh! <laughs> I forgot! By any means! By any means! He doesn't get to! Oh, that's so disgusting. What a great start to this game. I'm feeling saucy. Okay, he actually just popped that. Ooh! Oh, Shen! Ooh! Ooh, the miss of the to- Ooh, 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 Okay, I, I missed like three minions. I'm actually a little bit tilted right now. Uh-oh. Just going up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Ooh. Oh. I don't- Yeah, I don't think it's gonna- He's fine. Ooh, where do you think Kha'Zix is? Oh, Kha'Zix! Oh my... Oh, 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 I'm liking our team comp so far. While we do have a lot of early game presence with the people like uh, Lee Sin and stuff, the late game uh, power with Vigar, Camille, and Twitch are actually all very good. And if Gangplank builds some serious damage items, those barrels are gonna really hurt. Just so long as you build Sightstone, that's all I care about. Oh, he went in. Oh, he went in. Oh. Ooh, 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 oh, oh, oh. Oh, not today, baby. Okay, maybe today. Come on. There we go. God. God, the fact that Ryze just can't do- Oh, dear. Well, it was nice knowing me. That's okay. Sunfire Cape is fully complete. We're moving our way into the Triforce. And then once I get my Triforce, my power spike is going to be insane. And then I don't know what's going to happen to the enemy team. Like, Ryze is already 2 and 4. Kaz has some kills, but he's squishy. And, and so is Ash. Like, like Ash alone is going to be a non-factor in this game. So long as Vigar, Lee Sin, and I keep scaling up. I want to kill him. Unfortunately, Kazix got a fuckload of kills over there. Or by fuckload, I mean like... Oh, he got three. Shit. Ah, crap. Wow! Wow! That does so much damage! Oh. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, incoming. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. We're solid. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Oh, oh, bye. Oh, the slow? Ah, oh, damn. Part of me really wants to land something. Oh. Oh, I, I expected... Okay, that's something, right? Ah, uh, shit. That was, uh, I thought Vigar... That, that was my fault. I didn't look. I thought he had ultimate, and therefore I was gonna launch the, um the Kha'Zix into his wall and then he was gonna ultimately be dead but I didn't look and realized he didn't have ultimate and that is my fault. That is my bad. Now I'm just gonna keep on kicking things because that's why I missed the can- I mmm. Mmm. Tilted. Oh, yeah. My bad. Ah, uh, shit. Shen teleported down bot lane. Oh, that should be a free turret though. Ah. Uh. I should be able to get the turrets. I don't have teleport, so that's a problem. There we go. There we go. 
At least Camille just fucking obliterates turrets. Not only are they not going to be able to get bot lane turret, but I'm like pushing hard on top lane turret. I don't think... I think they're just all kind of like pussyfooting around down there. And it's actually giving me a lot of free damage on this. Oh, damn. Okay, there's Shem. Woo! He's hurting. Oh. Hey, Shen, how's it going? You're in my zone. You can't escape my zone. You can't escape it, man. By any means. By any means. Except for, you know, knocking me out of it. Man, it's so fun that I can just, like, push top lane. Because everyone else is providing so much pressure that I can just straight up take top, or at least push it to an excessive degree. And my split pushing is so powerful, and I crush turrets so quickly that they're all doing their own thing. And here I am, just- I just took the second tier, solo. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. Alright, can you- Wow, nice one. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on, let's see what you got. Oh, 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 what? Oh, he might have flashed. He may have flashed for that. Oh, damn it. I was feeling so spicy. All right. I'm sorry, Vigar, but you're on your own, buddy. Ah, I rise. Yeah, I'm here. No, you don't. You don't get to leave. No one ever gets to leave my zone. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Alright. Uh, okay. Alright. Looks like I'm dead. I got- that's the CC lock was, was more than I could handle, that's for certain. But Twitch though? Oh, gross. Oh, double gross. You're not gonna survive against Shen, but... Oh, can you do it? Can you- can you do- can you do it? Can you do it? He can't do it. Can you do it? He can do it! <laughs> you don't get to leave! By any means! Oh, uh, he might need us. Oh, shit. Wow, that... Oh, crap, the slows. I, I fucked that up. That was my fault. Oh, shit, Gangplank got bot lane turret while everyone was dying. Okay, so we got ace there, which is not the greatest. It's it's not necessarily very fun to get, pl to get like, destroyed like that, but... Shen, I don't get Shen, man. I thought I was doing pretty well against him. He just comes out of the woodworks and fucking destroys us. This Ash is just, just looks so, like, I want it. Well, I got it. You know, I got it. I wanted it. Okay, this is bad. This is incredibly bad. I'm taking lots of damage. And I lived. Well, that- wow. Okay. That happened. We can definitely take in Hib off this, I imagine. Okay, enough I keep taking tower aggro. I am boosted. <gasps> auto attack resets, dude! The ones that reset your auto attacks. Holy shit! I was always considering whether or not I want to get some form of lifesteal item on Camille. There's no honest lifesteal items that give you any kind of resistance at the same time. The resistance is the lifesteal. So because of that, I like, I want to build Bloodthirster, but at the same time, normally at this stage of the game, I've already got two damage dealing items. Like, do I really want more damage dealing items? All right, and Kha'Zix has been killed and Ash shall soon follow. Bye bye, Ash. And all right, where you where you at, Rise? You, you know you know you're next. You know you're next. Hey, what's up, baby? You don't get to leave via the t 
You don't get to leave by any means. Oh, 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 come on. You think, you think, you think some fucking exhaust under two turrets is gonna stop Camille? Please. Oh shit, we gotta kill it before they before they surrender. Quickly! Quick oh PGWP and then hit the hit the dance. Yes! Ah, and you know what's the best part about this? You know what the best part about this game is? Let me show you. Let me show you this shit. Oh! You know what the the, the second best part about this game is? I was at 99 LP. I was at 99 LP in that game, and because of that, I am now in promotions, and I and I already have one free win to silver two. We're gonna get out of here. I'm not gonna be silver orchid three anymore. I'm gonna be silver orchid two. But before we actually end this game, before we actually end this video, all right, mastery level six. I kind of, I kind of miss, I kind of miss the big like mastery level six thing being created. I kind of miss that like a lot actually. I thought that was really, really fun. So I don't know why it's gone, but okay. All right, everyone. It's been the first episode of the, wait, 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 the fall of the golden brick road, I guess would be the term or the golden brick road or whatever I'm going to call it. Whatever it was. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Hoping to get these out maybe once a week. Please tell me, should I do like multiple games in these videos? Like what, oh, give, give me some feedback. Give me some feedback, please. I'd like some cr uh, constructive criticism. All right. I'll see you next time. Hopefully either in Silver 2 or blowing through the placements of Silver 2. Bye-bye.